Kofi. My name is Salim Kalfani. I represent the Virginia Interfaith Center for Public Policy, and we support this resolution. 28, Delegate Herring. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is something that you all have seen before, so that I will be brief. Um, this um, resolution provides uh, three main things. A fundamental right to vote, to recognize it in our Constitution, revise the qualification for voters to be those who have, um, to include those who have been convicted of felony um, and after they're incarcerated and, and released, they would be um, automatically eligible to vote. And it will um, update the existing prohibition on voting uh, by persons found mentally incompetent to instead apply to persons who have been found to lack a capacity to understand the act of voting. Um, so. Mr. Chair and members of the committee, I, I ask that we, we pass this and at least give it to the voters uh, to decide whether to amend our Constitution. Thank you. We so with the Virginia Catholic Conference in support of this legislation. Uh, we think it's just that when people have served their sentences uh, that they be restored the right to vote. Uh, we think it's important for reentry into society and we think to the extent possible, people should be able to fully participate in the political process that this bill would further that. Thank you. Good morning, Chair and Subcommittee members. My name is David Smith. I'm a formerly incarcerated individual and on the Board of Directors for Interfaith Action for Human Rights. IAHR represents people of faith who educate and advocate in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia for correction systems that avoid unnecessarily punitive practices and that instead focus on rehabilitation and successful reentry. As people of faith who believe in forgiveness, we ask you to vote yes, because research has shown that quickly restoring the right to vote to formerly incarcerated people leads to a higher reentry success, lowers recidivism, and therefore makes our community safer. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chair, uh, members of the committee, Sean Winetta speaking on behalf of the ACLU of Virginia, uh, speaking in support of, of this resolution. Uh, and this is personal for me as I recently went through the restoration pol uh, process as a returning citizen, and I had to rely on the governor to restore uh, my, my voting rights. I was so very proud to be able to fulfill my civic responsibilities. Um, and I'm not asking anyone here to restore anybody's rights. We're simply asking you to empower con your constituents, the very people that sent you here to Richmond to represent them, to determine if restoration should be in the hands of par a partisan actor or in the hands of the people where I believe that it belongs. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Angela Inglet and I'm here on behalf of Prison Fellowship, which is the nation's largest Christian ministry to prisoners, former prisoners and their families. And we are here today in strong support of this resolution. It aligns with proportional punishment, reflects personal liberty and encourages civic engagement and reintegration. And so for all of those reasons, we ask that you support this amendment and allow Virginia voters to decide this issue on the ballot in November. It's a good time to give this issue to the Virginians.